Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to English class with Teacher Sarah. Nice to see you all again. Today, in this video, we will learn about two quantifiers. They are a lot of and a few. Let's go! Before we start today's lesson, let's review shortly about our last week's lesson. Last week, we studied about there is and there are and we had some homeworks also. So, let's listen to this song and after that, we will also check our homework. C. Listen and sing. One piece of pizza. Now it's time to check your homework. Did you finish the homework from last week? Of course! So please open your notebook. Let's start with number one. Number one, how many cans of cola are there? Answer was, there is one can. Number two, how many cans of cola are there? How many cans of cola are there? There are two cans. There are two cans. Now, after the examples, let's check question number 3, 4, and 5. Please look. At the answers. Now, let's start our today's lesson on quantifiers. First, let's learn the main words. Listen to the teacher and say. A lot of. A lot of. We use a lot of when we have something in large amount. Like these eggs. There are so many of them. So, we can answer, there are a lot of eggs. We use a lot of for uncountable nouns too. A few. A few. We use a few when we have something in small quantity. Like these eggs. There are only three of them. So, we say, there are a few eggs. There are a few eggs. Learn the words. Number one. A lot of nuts. 
Number two. A few nuts. Number three. A lot of cupcakes. Number four. A few cupcakes. Number five. A lot of blueberries. Number six. A few blueberries. Number seven. A lot of cherries. Number eight. A few cherries. Now let's learn to use them in sentences. We can make sentences by adding there are. For example, first a lot of. Number one. There are a lot of nuts. Number two. There are a lot of cupcakes. Now let's make sentences from a few. Number one. There are a few nuts. There are a few cupcakes. Make sentences. Jenny and Kate are getting food ready for a party. Do they have enough food? There are a lot of nuts. There are a few cupcakes. Number one. There are a lot of nuts. Number two. There are a few cupcakes. Number three. There are a lot of cherries. Number four. There are a few blueberries. Okay, now let's learn with teacher one more time. We will practice asking questions and answering them. Let's start. One, two, three. First, ask questions. How many nuts are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, a lot. So, I will answer, there are a lot of nuts. Yes, there are a lot of nuts. Okay, let's see. Next. Okay, how many nuts are there? One, two, and three. Only three. So, answer like this. There are a few nuts. There are a few nuts. Okay, next. Wow, blueberries. Okay, ask question. How many blueberries are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A lot. I cannot count. So, I will answer. There are a lot of blueberries. There are a lot of blueberries. Okay, yummy. Uh-oh. One, two, and three. How many blueberries are there now? Only three. So answer. There are a few blueberries. There are a few blueberries. Oh no, it's gone. Next, let's see. Wow, looks nice. Cherries. Okay. How many cherries are there? A lot. So, there are a lot of cherries. Yummy! There are a lot of cherries. Okay, let's see next. Uh-oh! Who ate the cherries? How many cherries are there? How many cherries are there? One, two. Oh, did you eat the cherries? It's gone. There are only a few cherries. So answer. There are a few cherries. There are a few cherries. Okay. Can you ask question and answer? I hope so. Good luck. For your homework, write the questions and answers like we practiced in your notebook. Look at the example given in number 1. Number 1. Nuts. Write the question. How many nuts are there? And write the answer. There are a lot of nuts. There are a lot of nuts. 
is easy. Good luck. One done and three more to go. Okay, that is all for today. Well done everybody. And we will check the answers next week. Until then, see you. Bye bye and thank you very much. Bye bye.